Hello, my name is Dialysis Nurse Lindsay, and this is Dialysis Nurses Supporting Nurses. This video is for all of the new dialysis nurses and techs out there. Welcome to this super fun niche. I'm so excited you're here. I am here for you. Thank you for choosing dialysis. There is a lot to learn, and it is normal if you uh, have already spent a couple days there and you are feeling overwhelmed and like, oh my God, I can't do this. I am here for you. I am going to help you. Number one first things first there is so much to learn the water room charting machines cannulation catheters patients names like oh my god there's so much and just first things first one thing at a time just hone in on one area learn that one move on to the next one focus on the machines get to learn how to set up those machines. Do it over and over and over again. Then go to the catheters, then go to cannulation. Time takes time, all right? One thing at a time. And if I've said it once, I, I've said it a thousand times on, on this YouTube channel, is it is going to take you a year before you feel comfortable or confident in the dialysis setting. And that's okay, and this is whether you've had like one year experience, you're a new grad, or you've been a nurse for 15 years, it's going to take time. Dialysis is just, niche. Um, one of the hardest things for me to do just in any kind of nursing that I did was ask for help. And as a dialysis nurse or a dialysis tech, you need to ask for help. I mean, it was so hard for me. I didn't want to appear weak. I wanted to be self-sufficient and I didn't want to like bother anybody else. I wanted to do it all on my own. But if you want to be successful in the dialysis world, you need to ask for help. And we know we've all been there. All right. And if you're running into somebody that doesn't want to help you go find somebody else okay because you just you want to stick with the winners and the winners are going to be the ones that help you and if you work with me come find me all right get me out of my office I if I seem stressed or overwhelmed like that is the time that I need to get out of my office so please come find me and drag me out of that little closet of my office and um if, if you don't, if you don't work with me, I do this a lot is I ask my patients like 99% of dialysis is patient education. We are constantly educating our patients, whether it's about their catheter care, their fistula, their blood pressures. And with that education, that means that they know what's going on. If you are cannulating somebody, like talk to them, be like, do I need to know anything about your fistula? Has anything been going on? Or like, oh, your catheter, do we run regular or reverse? And they'll say, oh, reverse. And even though this sounds like a foreign language right now, it'll soon make sense to you, I promise. The other thing is, if you're new, perspective is everything. So when you are asking for help before you say, I can't say that I'll try. If you come up to me saying that I've never done this before, will you help me do this? Whether it's with the ultrasound or you're cannulating somebody new. If you say just, I need help versus will you do this for me? I want to hear, will you do this with me? Okay. Do you see how it's, it's different? All that I ask for as a preceptor is somebody that is willing to try that. That will really help you when you're asking for help. It, it definitely changes perspective for everybody involved. So you can ask me, you can ask your patients, you can ask your coworkers. What else can I talk about? And this is something that I've really kind of changed even within the last couple months is the only thing that I can plan for my day at work is that I am going to go to work. I cannot plan how the day is going to go because it is not going to be a straight line. People are going to show up late. People are going to miss treatments. You're going to have needle issues. You're going to have blood pressure issues. So if I come in thinking that it's just going to be an easy day, everything's going to run smoothly and perfectly. When it doesn't, that's when I'm going to start to get crabby and irritable. So I just need to show up to work and then go wherever the day takes me. And that is my secret today to having a good day at work. Thank you all so much for joining dialysis. It is, we are short staff. We need you. Our dialysis patients need you. And I am so grateful that you are watching these videos and um, please reach out to me, email, make a comment. I'll respond in the comments or maybe I'll, I'll I'm going to try to respond in videos too. And thank you so much.